Today is the fifth day of Vlogmas and I am Shayna of The Wealth Five and I usually create videos about eliminating debt, growing your income, and building wealth. But it's Vlogmas so I'm taking you on a peek in my life. My job interview is at 10 30 a.m it takes about an hour and a half to get up to atlanta and so i should be there a little bit early for my interview and i have a little secret for you all okay so i've arrived i'm about 15 minutes early i'm probably gonna walk in, in about five minutes um because i know i have to go through security and I have to wait for an escort but i need to change my shoes and also um tucking my shirt and whatnot so i'm gonna do that in a little bit but i'm gonna check in with y'all and tell you tell you how the interview went after i leave so wish me good luck so it's after my interview and i'm actually at perimeter mall right now because i just met up with a seller for a home that my boyfriend has under contract and i needed to get the key um and so I helped them out by being the middle person for them. So my interview was actually at the CDC in the same division that I was before, Division of HIV AIDS. Um, the interview is to be working either with my mentor or with someone else at the CDC. And so I had a panel interview where I knew two of the four people on the panel one of which is my mentor and another is a guy that i just happen to have known because we worked on the same floor before and both of them previously went to howard and um the other two people i had never met the other guy but the one lady i have met her before and i believe she is friends with my doctoral advisor so that was a really interesting interview um that is a position that I would like. However, it would be the same as what I initially started off in um, at the CDC. So I am looking for other opportunities. However, I would be really happy with that, um, that position. So I just wanted to give you an update about my job search. I have been on the job market since about July. I've been looking for a job since then. In August, I went on another interview at the CDC and I thought I was going to get that position. They had done all my reference checks, called all my references and everything. And also that person, um, that hiring manager also had went to Howard. Um, but it wasn't her sole decision. There was, uh, it was supposed to be a joint decision. And she called me and told me that they decided to go with um, a person that had more cancer experience. and. Granted, I don't have really much cancer experience. I have a little bit, but not much. Um, however, to me, the, at the end of the day, your skills are what matters when it comes to research. You can apply it to any health topic. Um, but I wasn't able to get that position. I was kind of really disappointed about that because I really thought I was going to get it. I did really well in the interview. Um, they have followed up with me several times after the interview to make sure that all my questions were answered and that I felt really good about the team. They had me call team members afterward, you know, just or they had team members call me also to make sure that, you know, I had all my questions answered. They did my reference check, asked for my transcripts, like they did the whole nine. So I was under the impression that I was going to get that position. But it turns out that I didn't then I also during that same month I had an interview at a different organization for an associate director of research projects position and at first I was a little skeptical of whether I was qualified for such a title and I finally decided that I should apply for it 
because it was really um, a good fit for me, but I just was afraid of the title. And I was second guessing whether I should even apply. But I did an informational interview with a guy who was in the position at the time and he had a master's degree and he was saying you know you're really much more advanced than I am so I was like okay great I felt a lot more comfortable about applying for the position so I applied for it and then the hiring manager ended up contacting me and she was like well you're a little too advanced um and we won't be able to pay you what you want would you be interested in a director position and i was not interested in the director position because that would then mean that i would have to become a faculty member and it's not uh, something that i want to do is become a faculty member because of the added responsibilities i just want to do research and when you're a faculty member you have so many other responsibilities besides just doing research so i you know turned down that opportunity to then become the director um or not even they didn't offer it to me and you know in a formal offer but they were saying you know we really could consider you consider you for this do you want to be considered and i told them no so I continued on my job search, and I've interviewed for a few different positions, and um, I've been offered, you know, recently a position in Dallas, Texas, and currently I am interviewing for another position here in Atlanta, um, also for that same title, Associate Director of Research Projects. It's at the same institution where the first, you know, um, Associate Director of Research Projects position was and I'm really hoping that I can get that position because ironically they do have the money to pay me for um, that position title but in this specific department so I have a second interview coming up for that position um, next week I was actually hoping that I can um, schedule the interview for today so that I had the interview at the CDC and then the interview at the other institution right after it however um, they said that they couldn't schedule it so I'm doing that next Thursday the really interesting thing is um, that position w would have been right across the street so I could have went from one interview and then literally go across the street and do the other interview um and both of those are um relatively close to where i used to live so i'm very familiar with the area um but yeah i'm hoping that i really do get this associate director of research projects um position it is you know i think it's going to help me to further my career give me some new skill sets and I think it's just a really good fit for me. The salary, uh, we've already discussed like my salary range and they were okay with it. And everybody seems very nice and I'm really interested in that position. I've also lately <clears throat> have been contacted by a whole lot of recruiters. So one thing that I will say is that LinkedIn is definitely a really good, cool tool. <laughs> the reason why I have that adjunct position that I showed you on Vlogmas Day Three, I believe where I was teaching a live session the only reason why I got that position was because a recruiter contacted me off of LinkedIn and so recently I've had several recruiters contact me um, one recruiter contacted me for a position out in Texas and that seems to be moving forward um, I haven't had an official interview yet but I've spoken to a few different people um, and so my application is moving forward with that and I'm also I've also been contacted by another recruiter uh, for a position in New York um, but it's to work remotely and I've been recruit I've been contacted by a few different recruiters for positions on LinkedIn sometimes they don't work out they aren't really a good fit for me and my skill sets and what I'm looking for but sometimes they are and so I would say if you're definitely looking for a position make sure that you have a LinkedIn profile and that you put yourself as open and searching for new positions because re recruiters will contact you because I've had a lot of success um, with recruiters contacting me via LinkedIn so uh, right now I'm currently interviewing for a lot of different um, a lot of different positions actually today i even got contacted by um someone at this organization in virginia that i had applied for this job like last year or something like that i actually even had a, a internal referral but i never heard anything about it and then they contacted me today and was like 
hey would you like to interview for the position <laughs> and so I think they just are a little bit delayed the one thing that I've noticed is a lot of people um, tend to think that people aren't hiring during the I guess the holiday season and that couldn't be far from the truth I've had so many people contact me for interviews and I've had so many <laughs> interviews during this time um, and so I would say this probably is the best time and actually my mom did send me a um, an article or no she sent me was it an article she might have sent me an article and also told me about a a um, news segment on I think Good Morning America or something like that where they said that this is actually the best time to look for jobs so if you are looking for jobs put them applications in okay and it doesn't really matter about like when you want to start a lot of people are understanding that you will probably not be starting until the new year because of the holiday season and because most people already have their travel booked and stuff like that so definitely still apply and go through the process if you are looking for a job i'm feeling really good that i should have a new job within the first few months of 2020 if not by the end of january so that's where i am with my job process but now that i'm done with the interview and i've already met up to get the key i actually need to go to my storage unit so when i moved out of my apartment in august i put a lot of my things in storage because i then moved in with my boyfriend into his one bedroom apartment so obviously <laughs> He already had things in his one bedroom apartment. I couldn't bring things from my one bedroom apartment or all of my things from my one bedroom apartment because essentially we would have we would have needed really a three bedroom apartment to fit all of our stuff. But I kept most of my stuff in the storage unit and so I need to take some things to the storage unit and also get some things from the storage unit. One being the Christmas tree. We want some Christmas joy. So while I was changing my clothes, I got a phone call from another job that I guess apparently emailed me on Monday about a job interview, but the email went to my junk. And luckily, I guess she had been experiencing this issue with Gmail customers. And so she was like, let me give her a call and see if the email went to junk. So luckily, <laughs> She called me, so I was able to get that interview scheduled for Monday. But the crazy thing is, they had emailed me earlier in the week through an automated reply saying that I wasn't considered for the position. But she said that was a mistake, and she had sent out emails. <laughs> and so she was like, since she's having issues with her Gmail and the position, um, situation with the, the HR portal happened. She was like, let me get phone calls to make sure that people are getting my emails. And so I told you, this is the time of year to be applying for jobs. But yeah, I'm at my storage unit right now. And I'm just dropping off a few things and really picking up a dress and my um, Christmas tree. And that's pretty much it. And then we outie. My Christmas tree is right here. So that's easily accessible. I need to get a dress off of this rack. But who knows where my um, Christmas ornaments are. Might try to look for it a little bit. But I feel like it's going to be a futile search. But if I can find it, that'll be great because we'll have lots of Christmas joy. So I made it back home around 5 o'clock. So I left here around 8.30 this morning. So I pretty much spent a whole full work day in Atlanta because of this interview. But since I came home, I have been doing a whole bunch of other job-seeking related tasks. Like I had to fill out a questionnaire for this one job. I had to... Um, write a draft recommendation letter for myself. Don't tell nobody. Um, I also had to uh, respond to some emails from jobs that have hit me up about doing interviews. I also had to um, write a thank you letter 
or a thank you email for the interview that I had today. So I've still been doing job related stuff and it's now 11 p.m. at night. <laughs> so I'm about to stop all this job related stuff for today and probably pick up on a few things tomorrow. But that's it for Vlogmas Day 5. Stay tuned for tomorrow's Vlogmas and I appreciate you for watching.